What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing chapter 1, problem 20 in the Fundamentals of Physics 10th edition textbook by Drew Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 1 is all about measurement, and in problem 20, we are talking about a world record uh, glass bottle, and we're asked to find how much short of 1 million cubic centimeters the volume of that glass bottle is, and we're asked to find how long it would take to fill given a certain rate. And so for part A, we are given the volume in gallons, and we're asked to find how short it is in cubic centimeters, so we need to convert that volume in gallons to cubic centimeters, and so we can start with what we are given, which is 193 gallons, and we know that one gallon is 231 cubic inches. And we know that there is one inch in 2.54 centimeters. And in order for these units to work out, we have inches cubed here and inches here. So we'll have to cube this entire term. And that'll leave us with cubic centimeters. And if you plug all that into your calculator, you should find that this is equal to 7.31 times 10 to the fifth centimeters cubed. And so now in order to find how short of 1 million cubic centimeters that is, we just have to subtract this from 1 million cubic centimeters. And so 1 times 10 to the 6th centimeters cubed minus 7.31 times 10 to the 5th centimeters cubed is equal to 2.69 times 10 to the 5th centimeters cubed short. And that's it for part A. And now for part B, so we know that rate is equal to volume per time. And so if we rearrange this, time is equal to the volume over the rate. We know our volume, which we just found right here in cubic centimeters, but we are given the rate in grams per minute and we're also given a density, so that's a mass per time, which then we can convert to a volume per time. And if we have volume over volume per time, that'll give us time. And so we can start with the rate that we are given, which is 1.8 grams per minute. And we know that there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And now we can multiply that by our density in order to get this in terms of volume. And so that would be 1,000 kilograms in one meter cubed. And since our volume up here is in centimeters cubed, we need to convert that into centimeters. And so now we have one meter is 100 centimeters. And again, here we have meters cubed and meter, so we need to cube this term. And if you plug all of that into your calculator, you will find that this is equal to 1.8 centimeters cubed per minute. And so now we can plug this back into our time equation in order to get our time in terms of minutes. And so here we have t is equal to 7.31 times 10 to the fifth centimeters cubed divided by 1.8 centimeters cubed per minute. And if you plug that into your calculator, that'll be equal to 4.06 times 10 to the fifth minutes. And since this is kind of an odd way to report this, since this is a very high number of minutes, we're going to actually convert this to years. And so we'll start with this value, 4.06 times 10 to the fifth minutes. And we know that there are 60 minutes in one hour. There are 24 hours in one day. And there are 365 days in one year. And so now if you plug that into your calculator, you will find that the time required to fill this glass bottle is 0 0.77 years. And so your final answers for this problem, for part A, we have this right here, how short it is, and down here, the time to fill the bottle. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. 
see you in the next video.